What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I am Augustine Versace, this is O'Neill Media, and you are awesome. We are on the road to 1K subscribers, so please, subscribe to the channel. If you are here, you are the fam, give me dap. I don't rock in with ya. And we have to talk about the elephant in the room, okay? Now, before Donald J. Trump was to leave office, he decided to do a few things. One of those few things is give out quite a few pardons. And yes, I know what you're thinking. What does that have to do with music? Well, it has a lot to do with music because a lot of influential people to music were actually pardoned by your guy, Donald J. Trump. Now, on that list of people, we have Louise, Louisiana, Wayne, Best rapper alive since the best rapper retired. I'm still rocking with that, but Wayne was actually given a pardon on his federal gun charges that he had. Now it makes a little bit more sense on why he would endorse Donald J. Trump to be the next president of the United States. Oh, he wanted that pardon, baby. And it makes me kind of sad that Wayne having guns and drugs on a plane could be pardoned because that is the reason why we lost Juice World. I mean, Juice World had drugs on the plane, he ate a bunch of pills and ended up overdosing. And if that was just something I could have just popped out like a magic genie and told that man like, hey, you ain't gotta do this, trust me. Say you like Trump and he's gonna give you a pardon in a year. Like I wish I could have told Juice World that, man. The world misses you, my friend, and Wayne, Definitely a good strategy because politics is all about politicking and you politic with the big fish and you came out on top. Another person that was part of on federal gun charges is the project baby Kodak Black. Now Kodak Black was in jail and a lot has been happening with Kodak Black and believe me I am sure he is very very happy that he was able to get out and once again Stroking the scrotum of one Donald J. Trump got that young man out of jail. I wish him all of the best of luck, but he does have charges that are not federal charges, and the president cannot pardon you from those, which are sexual assault allegations. Now, Kodak Black is a very wild man. We can all agree on that, but I would hate to put rape on anyone. So I'm hoping that that is not true. I am hoping that all parties in that situation do find peace and justice within that situation, uh, including the young woman who says that she was raped. Now, there were also a couple of other figures. Um, one of the founders of Dev Jam, uh, I believe his name is Harry O. Don't quote me on that. Google it, people, look it up. Thank you, he was pardoned. Uh, he has been in jail for quite a while. Um, another person that was pardoned is the president of Rock Nation. Um, a woman who has actually been stated to have been uh, a snitch, like to the point of 6 9 snitching. Like she snitched on cartels, which I hear is a very dangerous thing. So, yeah, Donald J. Trump went out, handed a bunch of pardons before he left, threw up the dubs took his L, not quietly, and walked away. Hey, that's about as political as we're gonna get on this page. But, one more thing that I would like to say is, to the likes of Hassan, what's, what's good Hassan? Actually guys, you might wanna go check out Hassan's page. Um, he's an out of the box thinker, but Hassan mentioned in his video that he was talking about on people that got released that a lot of people that could have gotten released and pardoned uh, did not. Political figures that fought for the rights of black people. And he was ashamed for the black community as a whole. Now, some of the people that could have been pardoned by Donald J. Trump that were not pardoned are rappers such as C. Murder. Also, political figures such as The Secures. Um, if you're not familiar with that last name, Tupac's last name was Shakira. And that is because these people are families and considered radicals.
but and truth be told, they are not. So yes, Hassan, you, my friend, are right. There are people that could have been helped by these pardons, but like I said, I don't believe that Donald J. Trump was listening to the black community, and I'm not even sure that a lot of people in the black community actually know who these people are. So, read into that. Matter of fact, go check out Hassan's page. There will be a link down below. I don't believe Donald J. Trump was listening to the black community when he released these people. Um, may have. He, he may have been listening, but I do believe that was just a play on his behalf to help out some of his rich friends, people he would consider friends, because I don't think a person with Donald J. Trump's personality actually really has any friends to speak of. But people who played friend for Donald Trump actually got that. And yeah, that is amazing to me that people could play friends with a political figure and get away with it and get pardons. That is just a wild concept to me. I really don't know what more to say, man. And if you are here, you are fam, give me that. I appreciate that. If you're still here, please give me a like. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys on the next of my new series. So yeah, as always, peace. I love you guys.